and fill light and key light. Hey everybody. Hey, thanks for coming by the channel again. So today we're going to do something a little different. Today I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough using FreeCAD, an open source CAD program with tons of functionality. We're going to go over my original design and I'm going to show you how I extended that out. Now if you're familiar with FreeCAD, then you're probably going to want to skip this video. So what you might want to do is check out the description where you can find the link to the FreeCAD project file. So for the rest of you who want to hang out a little bit longer, then let's jump into FreeCAD. Okay, if you're still with me, let's jump into FreeCAD and I'll show you how I created this modified base plate. When you first open up FreeCAD, you have a blank template. What I'm going to do here is open up the file, uh, the project file, which I'm going to include a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. So you can see my naming convention here. I have the pole, butt plate, the base plate, and the different what I call spacers uh, that you run your antenna through. The top one here uh, has holes for guy wires. The cool thing about FreeCAD is if you make a change to a previous design point, it will cascade down. So let's get started here. Typically I start on the XY plane, so that's what we're doing here. So we're basically looking down, you know, like on a tabletop. And the base plate is made of an octagon. So we'll draw that. And that's this is the original one. Uh, this is the one you've seen in my video and the one that I used out at the farm. But we're going to make a new one just so, so I can show you how that's done. We're going to line some things up and add a couple constraints. This constraints is something FreeCAD uses to lock down your drawing. Now, I'm not going to completely drain this drawing, um, but we're going to do a couple of markers so it doesn't move around. You might be familiar with the push-pull. So push-pull is called pad in the part design workbench. And now we need to uh, make an identical uh, octagon except this time it's going to be a little bit smaller. And so what that'll do is we'll use this to carve out or make a pocket in FreeCAD lingo. And we're going to make our walls about five millimeters thick. So once we have that in place, then we'll click pocket and we'll bring it down. I want the base to be at least five millimeters thick at the bottom. So very good. So, okay. I click this particular plane here, and that's how you uh, build the other sketches. So you pick a plane, then you draw another sketch. And here we want to carve out uh, our walls, and we're going to do uh, two of these. Now I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. And, you know, some of you might cringe when I do this, but, you know, it, it doesn't need to be exact. So I add uh, just okay. So now that we have that, uh, we do a, another pocket and we reverse it. And so now you can see how it's shaping up. Now we're going to do a cool thing called a polar pattern, and that allows us to multiply what we just did. And as you can see here, I didn't have to draw another rectangle to create a pocket. All I did is created a duplicate. Uh, and rotate it 90 degrees on one particular axis. Okay, let's keep going. So now I'm going to create the hole, and that's, you know, the mast, your telescopic mast. That'll be the base. So once that's done, which doesn't take much, now we're going to create the um, SO239 or the coax connector.
So we, I want to somewhat center this. So what I'm going to do is use this datum point and you can select center of mass when you lay these down. So now I've got these two points and they're on the center and now I'm going to grab a datum line. And so now I have something to, you know, base the center of my circle, um, circle with. Okay, so we click that. And again, I'm just kind of showing you how things are done. Um, these are not the correct measurements for this particular piece, but you can see we created another pocket and we have a place for our SO239, our coax connector. Okay, let's keep going. So now we need to make that extension. Um, the piece that we added for uh, version two. So what we're gonna do is uh, in FreeCAD, what, we do, what you do is you borrow points from a particular object because we're creating a sketch, but it's, on, it's like on an outward boundary and you can only have one object. So they have to touch. So what I'm doing now is setting some constraints. I know I want a 90 degrees and I want some things to be parallel and and then lastly I need to connect this so now I've got a good rectangle and here we go again we're gonna create a pad so boom there we go we have our little platform and now we're going to do another uh, polar pattern and there we go. So now we have all four platforms. How awesome is that? <laughs> this is such a great program. And you, it's actually got a workbench for making rockets. So how cool is that? Okay, so we're not quite done. A little, we need to do some finishing touches here. Okay, now let's add our radiating element holes. So this is where the wing nuts are going to go and again kind of created a center so I had something to work with but I'm just going to kind of eyeball um, the, the vertical position of it. And again these are not the exact measurements I'm just putting it in there for demonstration. So now we have our hole and let's do another polar pattern. Now let's create holes for our uh, radials. Again, I'm kind of borrowing some points to kind of get some things centered. Um, but, you know, again, just kind of eyeballing it in a way, not being totally exact here. Okay, so we have our pocket right there. And let's go do another polar pattern. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, now we're in wireframe. Uh, we're going to add a finishing touch here, and I put it in wireframe view. And that allows me to click on these different vertices. And what I'm going to do is a fillet. I think they call that. I think I said that right. It's two millimeters. And there you go. We're all done. So, hey, how cool is that? That was like less than eight minutes. So if you've made it this far, you made it to the end, congratulations. Um, I hope uh, you enjoy this video. If so, um, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I put out more of my content, make sure you subscribe below. All right, till then, be safe and have fun out there. W0KNI clear.